Kadenshkel guys, Nexus here, and welcome back to Destiny 2. And in today's video, guys, we are here with some somber ass news. Bungie have done something in the TWAB, which I honestly never thought was gonna happen in the freaking Bungie world. And it is that the old Zim and Cronus users, the ones who abuse it anyway, they're getting banned. They're getting taken out. They're they're leaving, guys. What what's gonna happen? PvP is gonna be so much safer, maybe. I don't know. The thing is though, is that I'm a heartfelt guy, guys. Okay, I, I my heart bleeds for them. Okay, they've been running around abusing scripts, no recall glitches, and all that sort of crap with the Zim and Cronuses, extra aim assist. And my heart bleeds that now they're gonna be on the same playing field as the general populace, which I don't know if I can let them do that, guys. I'm here, guys. Papa Papa Nexus is here to give you some tips and tricks to kind of help you guys who used to have to use these kind of cheats and abusing things to have a chance in PvP, to make yourselves look better. The guys at the top end as well thinking that they were great. I've got some tips here because clearly you guys you couldn't probably aim. So I'm here with a couple of loadouts that might, you know, keep you up around that tippy toppy part of the PvP arena. And it's going to be just basically some of the easiest exotics used in the game. Look at this. We've got a Jotun, guys. we got the Jotun here for you guys. Because as I said, clearly you guys couldn't really aim without the no recoil and everything. So this is going to help you guys because all you got to do with this thing is hold down the trigger. We'll stick on the catalyst too because just to give you that extra corner and stuff. But with this weapon, you can hold it down. And you know what happens? A bullet fires and it tracks for you. No, you don't need any of this. No recoil stuff, boys. Or the extra aim assist. This does all the aiming for you guys. So if you were one of those sim users who needed the mouse and keyboard with the extra aim assist and everything, I've got you covered, boys. The Jotun is there for you to use. Another honorable mention you guys can use as well is we got things like the Ostri the Osteostriga. I know you can't use both at the same time, which is unfortunate, guys. I can't be, I can't be the all-knowing and give you everything that's God tier. But for you Zim Cronus users, the Striga is here too. You know what? You don't gotta aim with this either. This will help you out. I have to stay at the pinnacle, boys. This is actually a better weapon, so memes aside, this could actually work. But the Striga, guys, if you can't aim, no problem. You don't need any scripts or nonsense. All you gotta do is equip this weapon. I don't even have the catalyst on it, and it will still go in. The Striga, if you need a primary gunplay, you got it, boys. We have a pop and nexus isn't gonna leave you here stranded without your cheats, guys. Or sorry, not cheats. <coughs> Accessibility devices. They are not gonna leave you stranded there. We are gonna have builds and setups for you to stay at the peak of PvP. We have, of course, as well, the final warning. Brand new weapon into the game. Strand, another one where we don't gotta aim. I'm telling you guys, there is options for you guys you don't know how to aim. The guys who are gonna get banned over the frickin' next few weeks be like, oh, I just took a break from Destiny. I got bored. The SBMM might kick your ass, but guys, you got weapons to help you guys. You got weapons that can help your ass out to compete and to stay at the top level. And you know what? I'm going to show you the weapons. I'm going to show you how you can use weapons in PvP and not have to have scripts to be dominant with them. So without further ado, let's go in some PvP with some Zim Cronus sort of recovery weapons. I don't know what you'd call them, but basically, it's the weapons you're probably going to have to use. Because as I said, if you didn't, if you had to use scripts and stuff to aim, this is all you got left, guys. Because clearly, the other guns are too hard to use. Alrighty, boys. We are going to do some rumble. We're going to start it off with our streak. And this is it, boys. Look at that. No aim, no brain. Don't need any Zim Cronus, guys. I'm telling you, you are not lost, guys. As I said, my heart bleeds for you, but... It is not all over. You can still perform at the top of PvP. And is this guy AFK or has he just decided to jump off the map? What? <laughs> well, as I said, it's not all ogre, boys. In the words of Shrek or anti-Shrek or whatever you want to say, it's not all ogre, guys. You still have a chance of performing and getting some kills in PvP. As I said, you don't got to aim. Sometimes you get your kills. You look at that. No scope to victory, boys. All you need is some tracking ass weapons. Now, granted, they are all exotics that track for you and everything, which... Honestly, can't suck for you, but if you really want to as well, you can aim a little bit too if you want to get your kills. And oh, this guy's pretty so mad. <laughs> oh, yep, the healing aid. But you can see, you don't gotta aim sometimes, boys. You just gotta spam the bullets out and hope for the freaking best. And then you can melee for victory. I'm telling you guys, the Striga, it is your friend. Any sort of weapon that no scopes and aimbots for you, it is your freaking friend. Look at that now, buddy, buddy. <laughs> oh my god, I'm out of freaking ammo, buddy. Oh my god, please die. Thank you. But you can see, I didn't even have to aim in once there. I know it's somewhat scary to go like this and then have a go like this and like bounce up and down and I have to pull down a bit. But you know what? Sometimes things gotta change. Oh my god, I'm so dead. <laughs> Damn it. And the great news is, guys, if the streak is not tickling your fancy, maybe you want something that has a bit more 
oomph for it. We could always stick on the freaking Yoten, which, as I said, is also a great gun. Now, he just got absolutely deleted by the streak. He's so dumb sometimes. But I'm telling you guys, you could throw on something like a Yoten, which will have the same sort of effects. So you just spam like this, and there's the kill. But if we stick on something like Yoten, I did say that it is kind of unfortunate that you can't stick on both the freaking Yoten and the streak. I know it would be kind of broken, but... Look at this. We got a bit more oomph for our buddy. I will do that. And I whiffed a what? Whoa. Bro, what? I whiffed? All right. Maybe the Zonus users can't use this because they might whiff a few shots. But if we get actually the right engagement and I can actually just blast at him like this. And bro, get rid of your dumbass wall. There we go. Hey, buddy. <laughs> Look at that. I don't need any recoil scripts for that crap because it's a one shot blasting machine. I'm telling you guys, it's not all doom and gloom. Anyone who's feeling sad, I mean, your cat might get banned and stuff. I don't know if it's retroactive or not, but if you're feeling sad that your gun isn't as good as it used to be, have no fear. The Jotun is here. I'm telling you, there is options, boys. You have options. There's plenty of fish in the sea, and there's plenty of weapons to freaking choose. I mean, need I say more, guys? I think I've kind of explained quite a lot on why this can just be as effective as anything else. A one-shot freaking weapon that you don't gotta aim? Perfect. It's perfectly good for all y'all now. Oh my god, I actually there you pushed him in the face. Yo, buddy. Buddy. Okay, this is me aiming, guys. Sometimes you just gotta aim and I whiffed everything. Maybe I need a Simacronus. Where is a bunky? Let me buy one, please. Oh my god, I can't aim for crap. Look at that. Sometimes you get a I know it's scary, guys. I know it kind of scared you a little bit there when you could see me actually having to aim and pull down my Rico a little bit. PC, not so much a problem, but I know console users are like, oh my god, he he controlled the Rico? What? I know, scary times, boys, scary times, but you can always get your special ammo back and spam it like this. I'm telling you, there is so many ways to enjoy the game, guys. You don't have to have the game do everything for you out with the last hit. <laughs> uh, you know what as well, though, we can stick on? We can stick on another weapon that is just as good. You just have to hold down the trigger, and again, you've got it going with freaking aimbot. As I said, you got so much going for it. Now, I this one has a charge time, so I don't know how good this one's gonna be. <laughs> but look at this. We'll see a guy here. We'll aim in, and then we just no scope to victory. And there we go again, guys. Who needs any sort of Cronus crap when you could just use a weapon that aims for you, guys? I mean, as I said, there is options. That's the yo, and we're both freaking using the weapons to kind of aim on each other. <laughs> There is options though, and that's what I'm saying guys. It is not all doom and gloom for some of y'all. Some of you can just freaking get your ass out and freaking get yourself some exotics. And look at that. No scope like hell. I'm telling you, it's not all doom and gloom. It's not all sad. And as I said, I my heart bleeds for the people who are so used to the freaking aimbot or the freaking uh, what's called scripts and stuff and the no recoil. But maybe sometimes there is other options and you just got to look for them. It's like your best weapon just got nerfed. And you gotta try something else new. This is a different build, boys. As I said, you got the Yoten, you got the final warning. You've got other things to use now, buddy. Oh my god. Okay, why am I getting freaking peaked by every single person? Oh, Sylvia's gonna win it. You know what? Well done, Sylvia. Well done. You you deserve the win. You deserve it. But I'm telling you guys, there is options. It's not all doom and gloom. The Sylvia was using it too. See? Yoten is meta. We got the final warning as meta. And the street can be meta too. You don't always have to aim to get kills in this game, boys. You can get it with your aimbot weapons. The next closest thing you can use without getting banned now. Well, that's it for me. And Papa Nexus giving you Cronus and Zim users some needed guidance. I know the path ahead might seem really bad and dark and narrow. But there is light at the end of the tunnel. There is light. And it's called the Yote in the final warning in the Striga. You could try out other things as well if you don't want to aim. Maybe some melee builds. Something that maybe you don't have to shoot a weapon for. Maybe some grenade builds. Throwing knife builds. There's a lot of options, guys. But you know what? If you really, truly need to try aim now, I do feel sorry for you. Because you guys aren't used to aiming at all. You've been just using so many different ways of basically not having to bother thinking about aiming or control and recoil that... It might be hard to get used to. Now, fair credit to the guys who drop it all and start actually trying to play the game normally. Fair dues, fair dues. Your elo might be a bit high, so you might get dropped for a while, which will kind of suck. But you know what? It might do well. But overall, I'm telling you guys, there is options. Now, this whole video, I'm going to assume people know, but I'm going to say it anyway. It was seeped in freaking sarcasm, okay? This change is going to be coming sometime soon. Bungie have announced it that they're updating security. Now, this doesn't mean that every single Zim and Cronus user is going to be gone from the game. And I don't think that it should. As I said, I do think that they're great accessibility devices. Talk to people as well, and I have friends as well who do use some, like, devices like this. But not, of course, in a malignant way, is that the way to put it, or in a malicious way. They use it basically for accessibility reasons, which, 
as I said, is definitely a big benefit to people. So I do understand why Bungie want to keep them. And that's why they brought out things like the full auto uh, button that's toggable in this. So the full auto used to be a script that Zim and Kronos used to like kind of offer. So Bungie are implementing the accessibility needs that people do need and which is great. And it means that we can kind of move away from the Zim Kronoses. The main people who are going to get freaking banned from this are people using these third party devices who are using them to obviously gain advantage. So recall scripts is definitely one of them. There is no need for people to have recoil scripts. Obviously, people might say, oh, I needed to pull down for accessibility reasons. But the thing is that too many people are abusing that. And of course, giving themselves no recoil when they're in fights and everything, which makes it so much easier to fight. There's other people as well, which this is definitely one that just there's no accessibility reasons for it at all. That you can have a mouse and keyboard, obviously with console aim assist, which just makes guns insanely sticky with a mad sense and everything. That Those sorts of uh, scripts and those sorts of inputs they're 100% the reason they are getting banned. And you might get... I don't know if it's going to be retroactive. They haven't announced. But if you are one of those guys who are using them, obviously, I'm not going to name a shame. I'm saying Zim Cronus. There's loads of third-party devices. I'm not going to name a shame here. This is kind of just a joke video anyway. But I will say that I would probably not use them anymore because you are risking your whole account. You're risking... If you start out D2 at the start, you're risking like eight years worth of content or eight years worth of your freaking time for the off chance that you might not get banned for a bit of extra control and PvP, which already's in a pretty sad state anyway. I don't know what you're achieving really. It's not really worth it. But as I said, my stance on the whole thing is that it is good Bungie are cracking down on it. A lot of companies are. Ubisoft, I think, were the first. COD did an exo Activision and everything. I know Bungie is starting to do it as well. I do think it's good that they're cracking down on these the malicious intent of these third party devices. But I also do like that Bungie aren't outright just getting rid of it. Like I think Ubisoft have just basically given you if you are using it or you're caught using them, you're basically getting worse input lag. So I don't agree with that. Just completely ban them because as I said, accessibility is the most needed thing with these. And especially in a game like Destiny where it is a very, I'd say, um, big game in terms of it has a wide player base from like older generations to younger generations. It, like there's a huge wide audience for Destiny because it's been here so long too. So I do agree that they need to have accessibility devices of some form and let people obviously use them if they need them. But I do like that they're cracking down on the abuse of them because guys, especially EU, because I'm Irish and everything, we play EU ranked or whatever. I mean, it's everywhere. And the thing is, you can kind of tell when someone's using it because they just don't miss. They just never freaking miss. And it's hard to play. I have not, I've, I never touch comp. I, I'm a PvP player. And I'd say comp is one of my least touched activities in this game. And it's for that reason. Once you start getting to the higher echelons and everything, it gets bad EU. It gets super bad. So I am excited to see what changes happen. Now, it could be another thing where it doesn't really change too much. Or you might notice a lot of people leaving the game, which is, as I said, it'll be unfortunate if people are leaving because of this. But then again, it just keeps everybody more safe and it keeps everything at a level playing field. And that's all I really want to PvP. As I said, I don't mind much the spam. Everyone gives out about cheesy builds, broken ass weapons. I play in them. I, I enjoy the cheese. I enjoy the brokenness. The only time I don't enjoy PvP is when you're getting hacked on or else you're getting like abused like that with people who's like obviously using those extra devices just to get an advantage. So I will say overall, it's a big W from Bungie. I'm telling you, having the having these still in the game is great compared to other companies who are just banning them outright, but also cracking down on, of course, the, um, I will say niche amount of players who are using it because I'm going to, I would like to think that the main people who are using these are using them for, of course, beneficial reasons in terms of obviously accessibility. I'm hoping that the majority of people are. This is the crackdown on that like small, I'd say niche area though, of people who are abusing these just to gain an advantage, which as I said, is a big W from Bungie. How they implement it, I don't know. It's going to be hard without banning them outright, but I trust Bungie to try to do it. I trust them to try to do it. But regardless, if you like the video, trust like, and you want to see more content, subscribe, and fantastic day, and hopefully I'll see you at the next collective in the next one.